Don't blink it, you boy. Welcome to the content of the show. Um, okay, so doing well because we're having a wonderful 8th of November 2024. Uh, we're waking up slowly, so we're gonna do a video. It's cold outside. We're about to eat. My food is cooking. I'm super excited to be talking about the subject we are going to talk about today. It's gonna be a short subject, it's gonna be a fun subject. Um, so the subject has been inspired by a song. The song is If I'm Jim Dean, if you're Aubrey Ebert and I'm James Dean. Um, as I told you in a video previously, I find my, my idea, I find my inspiration for a song and um, in music a lot. And um, the song is basically like, I don't care about how, much, how long I live, I don't care about where I am in the world, as long as I'm with you. How the hell did you ever like this? You wake up to peace and sleep uh, with the moment we kiss. Since then it's mystery. This is the chorus, the chorus of course. They say the world is a rover. Your forever is all that I need. Please stay yay, as long as you need. Can't promise that thing won't be broken. We'll never live. And the song, I'm going to do a bit less romantic, but it does bring up a good subject. It does bring up a, an amazing subject. Like, a, a lot of people ask me, why do you believe in fate so much? Why do you believe in destiny so much? Oh, by the way, the drink of the night, um, water, lemonade, uh, which is not really lemonade. It's more so lemon extract and a bit of wine. That's droga, a bit of white wine. Wake you up. What if... <laughs> what if I told you the only reason I believe is a very simple sentence, a very simple question. You honestly think that there's no reason why you're born, where you're born, and when you're born, and with whom you're born. And how you're born also is a super thing. Not to be a dick, but look at somebody like Stephen Hawking. Look at somebody like... Um, like Ellen Keller. They were both father and mother. Let's take a man and a woman. That were uh, that were behind so many invention. Ellen Keller was blind and deaf. Stephen Hawking was sadly very uh, physically um, disabled, respectfully. But it led them to be who they are. Or, for example, a person, like a person, and the worst thing that could happen, they have a very abusive parents, very very abusive parents. Their parents don't care about them. They beat them up the worst situation as a kid, right? And that changed you. That changed you as a person. That changed you as a human. That changed you as an adult. How do you deal with it is up to you. Do I run away? Do I fight? What can I do versus what I'm doing? I'm going to run away, but there was nothing I can do versus I'm going to run away when I could have fight back. It's very different. Um, it was like in this song. There's a reason as to why you're here. There's a reason as to why you're... You're the person that you are. See, even even when you look at it, we're gonna go really deep. But even if you look at the the show that you're watching, the show that you're watching were popular in this country, were popular at this in this year. For, for example, I'm gonna talk about a show that not really changed me, but really kind of changed me as an adult, as a as a party goer. Jersey Shore, right? I know a lot of people are gonna complain about that, but I don't give a fuck. So Jersey Shore was very popular when I was in. Uh, grade 10 and grade 11 um, so it was everybody who talked about that and it was one of this almost reality TV kind of weird shit but uh, it was to me it was important because I was like oh this is my I never partied before never even went to a bar before I was 17 but so um, this is what I should do right this is the dream of partying now the value that are expressed in that show the value that, that I'm, I'm facing now no um, <laughs> but again, this changed me, and did it have an impact, an impactful effect on me? Not really, but it changed me. It showed like Bob, uh, SpongeBob. I was saying Bob Lepon, which is in French. SpongeBob impacted my my ability to be funny, right? A show like um, I Curly made me better at expressing myself. Made me want more to express myself. And again, if that show I was born a couple of years before or a couple of years after, I don't think I would have been as much of a fan as I was. And that's absolutely fine because if you don't choose when you're born, you don't choose where you're born. But luckily I was born in this period and in this place. So 
the reason I believe in fate, the reason why I believe and I'm supposed to be exactly the person I am to be, um, is kind of like a double-edged sword. Positively speaking, um, you you understanding that it's very reassuring. You understand that that you're exactly the person that you're supposed to be, exactly the guy that you're supposed. Oh, the hairs are slaying today. The hairs are slaying today. Oh, wait. You're understanding that you're the exactly the only the person that you need to be. You understanding that no matter what, you couldn't be in a different body. You couldn't. It's not possible. And when I say different body, I don't mean your sex. I don't mean your gender. That's your choice, right? This is a lot of theory there's a lot of things that i have to say about that that are not necessarily positive but it's ultimately it's your choice you don't give a fuck about what a dude uh on his balcony says i hope so um but when i talk about body it's about your soul your soul that's entering his body so again i, I believe i believe if you want to be really spiritual i believe um technically i believe i am a soul i believe my neighbors are soul right this is a, a core belief that has to do with faith, that has to do with spirituality. Because if you believe in spirituality, if you believe in faith and that everything is predestined, so if you believe that you're, ex you're born at the exact place you're supposed to be born, right? If you could say that uh, you're born at the exact time that you're born, if you could say that you're born in the exact environment that you're supposed to be born in, it's faith. But you cannot believe that faith is... There has to be something guiding fate. There has to be something writing the pages of your book. And if you want to believe that your book is already written, um, <laughs> you have to believe that somebody wrote it. Otherwise, it's a blank book. And congratulations, you're a blank book. Congratulations, I guess. You have to believe in spirituality. So I believe the soul. The soul, I believe we're a soul. I believe that this is a physical, physical manifestation of us, of how we look, how I look, takes my parents. And ultimately speaking, it's it's very very complex. Ultimately speaking, you cannot have a bunch of soul. Eesh, this is this is this is where you think I'm crazy. This is this is the exact moment that people are gonna take as a clip in years to come when I'm gonna become like Fuzzy. Hopefully not, but still. Um, so see, I believe personally. That's my belief. You can disagree. You can agree. No, I don't care. Um, I believe we're a bunch of soul. Right? You cannot have a bunch of soul uh, running around. And if there's a, a power behind us, you cannot create, you cannot create faces, you cannot create body. So you cannot be like, oh, yo, I'm going to be like a fucking clone, right? It's not Star Wars. But, 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 but what if, what if, um, whatever created us, no matter the God you believe in, no matter the entity you believe in, no matter, no matter if you believe in evolution, that's up to you. What if the one who created us, right? Possibly the Big Bang, who knows? <laughs> What if, the, what, if, what, if, what if the something that created us, or someone, or somewhat, or somehow, right, created us, didn't have any ID for the, um, uh, for the, um, it's actually like a complicated context, concept, for how you look. So you said, okay, you know what? I'm going to make two people attracted to each other, and then, um, the fact that they're attached together, they have a kid. Uh, then the way the kid looks is a new soul. It's often quite negative because you can believe that I'm exactly who I need to be and not want to change because there's a reason why I'm like that. No, technically, technically speaking, this, the moment you change was predestined. The moment you change, so for example, right? You take me. You take me that was really, really, really resilient to change, was really resilient to become a new person, really resilient to listen to other people's opinion. No, I changed a lot, right? I changed a shit ton, okay? But I cannot, I can't promise and I cannot confirm that I haven't changed because I need to change. I cannot tell you, yo, I had to change, so I change, and that's just the way it is. I would have preferred to be the way I was, but people, I, I decided to change. No, people pushed me and pushed me to change. And I was like, yo, I don't want to be pushed anymore, so I'm going to have to change. Um, yeah. That's destiny fate put people in this world to push me to, to give me adversities I would change you know it's crazy right hey, hey. as long as you're here then promise that thing won't be broken and it goes with relationship the song about relationship but it goes with your parents your parents the value they had 
uh, to teach you your friends, the friend that you keep, the friend that you don't keep. Um, there's friend, right, where you're <laughs> you're a hundred percent compatible for friends, and uh, it just doesn't happen. You move, you stop talking. Or the friend that is very unlikely, but you stay friend. And those friends influence you for becoming the person that you are. It was again, you're exactly where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be, with who you're supposed to be. Right? Anyway, we're not gonna have video. I love you guys, take it easy. Peace.